Do you want to create something awesome today? Well, no worries, man. I got you with this sweet side navigation menu. Now, before I say anything else, I just want to show you how it actually works. All right. All right. So we got the title right here and uh, we got those navigation elements. And whenever we click on one of these, say my work, for example, it will, it will just take us to a different section. So you can see that this is actually scrollable. And uh, whenever we, we, we click on one of these, it takes us to um, a, a certain section with a pretty cool uh, scroll transition. And also, in the bottom of the sidebar, we also have got those social media icons. And when whenever we hover on them, it kind of rotates 360 degrees uh, with a, you know, a cool um, transition. Now, I know that you might think that this video is a little too long, but trust me, man, you'll learn a lot of new stuff, okay? And I think it's worth your time, especially during that quarantine period. So without talking too much, let's jump right into it. Alright, so I'm on my HTML file right here. I've got everything set. I've got the title and uh, the link, the link to my CSS file, uh, which is right here. And I have also got uh, the link for a font. I got it from Google Font. You don't really have to put this, though. It's not very important unless you want to put a fancy font. Okay, so inside of the body, we're going to create a div. That's the first thing that we're going to have to do. And that div, um, it's basically going to wrap everything. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just create a div and I'm going to call it wrapper because it wraps everything. Yeah. So inside of this div, there are going to be two main divs. The first one is going to be the uh, side navigation. And then the second one is going to be the main content where we put our content and all. So I'm going to create a div. I'm going to call it side nav. This is the first one. Okay. And put a little comment side navigation. Uh, wait. Side navigation. And then um, there is going to be a different div, which is main content. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go to the side nav. I'm going to start filling it out. So um, as you can see here in the finished product, we have got uh, an H1, a text. So I'm just going to create an H1 and I'll just do pro maker dev. You can put whatever text you want. Obviously, you're not going to put pro maker dev, right? Next thing I'll do is create a UL. And obviously inside of the UL, there are going to be a bunch of allies and those allies basically represent those elements right here. So intro, my progress, portfolio, those are the allies. And uh, because they're actually going to take us somewhere when we click on them, they're just going to scroll into a different section, which I'm going to talk about later on. Um, I'm going to put an anchor tag and in the href. We're going to leave it this way for now, but we're going to later, bleh, we're going to, we're going to change it later on. So in between the, a, the a, I'm going to put a text. So intro and right before the text, I'm actually going to put an icon. So if you can see right here for each ally, we have an icon before it. So the way I'm going to grab those, um, icons is by going to this website that's called font awesome. Um, now, if you have never used Font Awesome before, you're going to you're gonna have to go to uh, fontawesome.com slash start. I'm going to leave the link down below in the description. And then after that, you're going to have to put your email and then they're going to give you a kit code. So you're just going to put your email, send click. Uh, I don't know what the hell is wrong with me today. Send kit code and um, they'll send you a code, a script link. Now I've already got that link, so I'm just going to grab that link and paste it right under the title. So there you go. So by having this script, uh, you're going to get whatever icon that you want. So all what you have to do is go to the search, look for an icon and then click on it. Uh, say this icon, copy the HTML and then go right here. And right before the text, I'm going to paste the, uh, the link that I've got. And notice I've got a space here so that it can uh, make a little space in between. Cool. So I'll just have to paste, copy paste this a couple of times. Uh, I'm going to do six times because I've got six elements. And I'm obviously going to change the 
text. So the first one is intro. Second one is my progress. My progress. A few moments later. And now I'm going to change the name of the icons. So the first one I've got home. And then the second one is going to be wrench. A few inches later. You can get those names from the website. Just uh, search for an icon and then those are the names that you should change. Cool. So if we go and take a look at what we have so far. All right, cool. That's actually what we want. Now, um, after working on those, I'm going to go ahead and start working on those social media icons. So I'm going to create another div. So uh, div and then name it social media. And then inside of here, I'm going to put an anchor tag and then I'll place an HTML code for the icon. So just change that. Um, that is going to be fab. Again, you can get those uh, links from the website and I'll do Facebook. I'll copy that. And um, second one is going to be discord. Well, discord and um youtube cool all right let me see if we have them yeah of course we do great so now that you can see i'm actually done with the side nav or the side menu now i'm going to start working on the main content and we're not really going to have any uh complicated stuff inside of here uh just uh some sections with a little bit of text so I'm going to create a lot of sections. Actually, I'm going to create, um, I don't know, uh, five sections. So the first section, give it a class, not column, a uh, class of section one. And right here, I'm going to just, I'm going to do lorem and I'll copy paste this five ta times. Uh, Hope that's five. All right, section two, section three, section four, section five. Okay, cool. Let me see. Awesome. And that's actually about it for the HTML. Now we're gonna finally move on to the CSS, which is the most important thing. That's why you're here. So uh, I have the margin and padding set to zero, as always. And then I'm gonna do body, and then I'm going to set the font family, font, font family to open sans. Cool. Next thing I will do is go here and target the side nav. So I'll do wrapper and then side nav. So the first thing I'll do is position, position this fixed position fixed. And then I'm going to set the left to zero and the top to zero so that it's in the top left. Now I'm going to have to give it dimensions. So I'll do uh, width, 20 viewport width, and the height is going to be 100 view height. Okay. So now we have its dimensions and we have its position. We're going to have to give it a background so that we can see it. So I'm going to do background. And I've got this hexadecimal value right here. So let's copy that. And hopefully now if we refresh, we have it right about there, but you can see that it's actually over the text. So it's actually, um, we cannot see the text because it's over it. Now what we are going to have to do is move this text right here. Okay. So I'm going to go to the main content because the text basically is inside the main content. Uh, so I'll do wrapper and then main, main content. And then I will give this width. Okay. I'll give it a width of 80 viewport width because this is 20 viewport width and that's uh, 80 viewport width. That means the total is 100 viewport width. And that's basically the total size of your screen. Now, if you refresh and go take a look, you see that the text got shrunk from this side. Now, all we have to do is move this text a little bit to the right side. So I'll do margin 
margin left and I will add whatever width that we have for the side now. So it's 20 viewport width, so I'll just put 20 viewport width and boom. We've got it set. Now we're gonna start editing what's inside the nav bar. So we've got the H1 right here, the one that we're gonna start with. So I'm gonna start editing it and I will actually put it right under the side nav. So first of all, I'll target it, side nav and then H1. So I'm gonna give it a color of white so that we have a little contrast there. And then I'm gonna text align it to the center. So I'll do text align center because we already have a width here. So it's not gonna be a problem for us if you if we used this method. Awesome, so now we wanna push it down a little bit and we also wanna push down those uh, allies that, that are underneath. So for that, I'm gonna use line height. So line height and I'm gonna set this to 90 pixels. Save, refresh, cool. And if we take a look at the finished product, we got a dotted um, underline or border. So I'll just do border, border, border bottom. And it's going to be one pixel dotted white. Awesome. Okay, cool. Now we'll move on to the allies because they obviously look pretty, pretty damn ugly. So uh, I'm going to target them. So side nav. Uh, UL li and then I'm going to set the list style to none. I usually do that for every li and then um, I'm going to make some space in between so I'll do padding and that's going to be all around so 15 pixels. All right, cool. Let me see. Awesome. So now I'm going to use border bottom so that we can make a little line so that it kind of splits uh, in between each li. So I'll do um, border bottom, border bottom, and set it to one pixel solid RGBA zero 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 zero, and then the opacity is going to be zero point one. Now we're gonna have to do this because it makes it look cool when we add the other border. So. I'm gonna add another border, which is border top. And it's also gonna be one pixel solid RGB, RGBA and 25, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, ugly. Actually, the opacity is going to be 0 0.1, huh? Pretty cool. So now we're gonna push it down a little bit. Um, it's actually touching the ProMaker dev, uh, the text, and we don't really want it this way. So, I mean, you can leave it this way. It's just my opinion. I'm gonna go to the H1 and give this a little margin, margin bottom, so that it kind of makes a little space. So margin bottom, 50 pixels, refresh. All right, cool. Now, I am going to start working on changing the font and all. So because they're in between an anchor tag, that's not affecting them. They're, they're, it's giving them the default styling. So I'm gonna go all the way up, right under the body and um, target the A. And I'm gonna change the color to uh, whites and the text decoration, text decoration to none, all right? So that, okay, that's cool. That's actually much more better. So if you're a little confused, I basically just targeted each um, anchor tag and I changed the default styling because it originally has some default styling. So all I did was change them. So um, actually the next thing I will do, you see there is not enough space in between the icon and the text. If you can see right here, there is a little bit of space, but here we don't have that space. so. I'll actually go um, right under the LI and I will put E and that actually targets this E, the, the E that's wrapping the icon that we got from the website that I told you about. So I'll put E and I'm gonna give it margin right. So margin right and I'll just 
I don't know, put eight pixels if that's gonna help. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I was I was saying E, right? Oh god. Um, I'm I'm really sorry. It's it's actually I. It's not E, because it's in French. Um, we call it I. We call it E. So, uh, learning different languages is really gonna get you confused. All right, awesome. We're finally gonna move on to editing those social media icons. So, um, what we have to do is obviously push them down and push them right here in the bottom and then center them in the middle of the side nav, side navigation. Okay, so first of all, I'll target uh, the social media. So, side nav uh, dot so social media. And then I will give this a position absolute. And then I'll set the bottom to eight pixels, and then I'm going to set the left to 50% so that it puts it in the middle of uh, the side nav. Okay, so okay, so as you can see here, it's not exactly in the center because it's actually given the left 50% plus the width of those icons. So I'm going to use a trick now. Um, so I'm going to do transform. Transform translate, translate, and then I will do uh, minus 50%. And that's basically going to center it right there. Now it's a little small, so I want to change the font size uh, to like 30 pixels. Notice that um, the icons that we got from the website, you can actually change them by doing font size because they're basically fonts okay they're they're like texts okay so i'm actually going to change this to 25 okay it's not 30 refresh all right cool we got them right here now we're going to start editing each icon individually um so if you can see right here this is the div we were actually targeting this whole div the social media but now we're going to target each a so um we're going to target those a's right here so i'm going to copy this and I'll put it here and then I'm going to put a so I'm targeting each um, a but not those a's actually only those a's I'm pretty sure you know this okay so I will put uh, a little space make a little space in between each one so I'll do margin um, top and right uh, top and bottom are going to be zero and uh, margin in the sides, left and right, are going to be around like uh, 10 pixels. Let me see. Okay, so that's definitely not what we want. They got stacked on each other, and that's because we have forgotten to uh, put display flex in the social media. So display flex so that um, it displays them uh, flex, flexly. <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Okay, so now if we uh, refresh, okay, that's that's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. Not that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, now I'll give it a background. So I'll write background and uh, the color of the background. Okay. So here's a trick. Uh, a little tip. Okay. So I'm just gonna take the color of the main uh, sidebar right here. So this is the this is the hexadecimal of the whole sidebar, right? So I'm gonna Google it, and now I'll have the hexadecimal value right here. Now, what I want to do, I want to move, drag this point a little bit into a lighter color, like this one. And then I got this hexadecimal, so I'm just gonna copy it and uh, paste it in the background. Okay. And what this basically going to do, um, it's going to give us a little lighter color, like this. Oh, come on. Okay, let me see what the problem is. Back, background, okay? Background. All right, okay, so we got the light gray type of color, um, which is pretty cool. Now, I am going to give it a border radius, a border, border radius, uh, five pixels, so it kind of looks a little better. Um, and as you can see right now, the Dimensions are not equal and that's because it doesn't really have a dimension yet. It's just taking the uh, the width and height of each icon 
okay? And you can see that the icons are a little different in the heights um, in terms of the height and width. So I'm just gonna give it a specific uh, height. It's gonna be 40 pixels and the width is also gonna be, oops, uh, width is gonna be 40 pixels as well. So I'll do 40 pixels just like that. And cool, no, uh, we're, okay, cool, they're, they're fine. Now, the next thing we'll do is center those icons right in the center. For that, I'm gonna do display flex and then align items center. And then I'm gonna put it in the middle. And for that, I will go, um, I will copy this whole thing. And we'll actually target the icon individually, which is, it has a, a tag of I, okay? So, and I'm gonna give it margin. Top and right is gonna be zero, and the margin in the sides are gonna be is gonna be auto, okay? So, when I refresh, it will put it right here in the center. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now, all we have uh, left to do is um, give it a little hover effect, cool hover effect. So I'm just gonna copy that as well, and. Um, I will write hover, and um, what it will do when we hover on it is that it will actually rotate. So transform, rotate, and it will rotate 360 degrees. Okay, so now this is actually a challenge for you, a mini challenge. Um, when, when I hover on it, it doesn't do anything, and I want you to figure out the problem. If you're really good at CSS and, um, I want you to figure out the problem. It's just a really small problem. Okay, so actually the problem is, the reason why it's not working is because it's actually working, but it doesn't have uh, the time. So when when we hover on it, it instantly rotates 30, 360 degrees. So if we were to go and uh, give it a little time, a little, a little bit of seconds, so I'm gonna do transition one second, it will do that throughout one second. So, all right, we got the effect that we want, which is pretty cool, right? Okay, so we're done with the sidebar now. Uh, we're finally gonna move on to editing the, the main content where we put those sections. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my HTML and show you the sections that we've created, all of these sections. And actually, guys, I really, really apologize. I have made a mistake in, or I was supposed to, um, give this an ID, give each section an ID, but not a class, but I made a mistake. So I'll change each of them to an ID because we're actually gonna need this later on, okay? So really apologize about that. Okay, so we're, we're cool now. Now I'm gonna go to the CSS and target all of the sections. Notice that this is a tag, it's not the ID. So I'm gonna target all of the sections and I'm gonna give them a height of 100 view height. And I'm also going to give them, wait, let me just uh, refresh. Okay, that's pretty cool. You see, we need to put a little space right there. So I'm just gonna do padding uh, 30 pixels and that's going to do the trick. Okay, uh, those are our sections. Notice we have this annoying scroll, we can actually easily fix this. We're gonna go all the way to the top and um, I'm gonna do overflow X hidden. So we, we hide the uh, the extra space and that did, uh, did the trick. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna give each section a, a, uh, a background color so that there is a little bit of contrast. Um, so I'll do hash um, section one. We'll start with section one and I'm just gonna uh, set its background and actually I'm actually using this uh, this website right here and this basically gives you some pretty cool gradient colors so you can just uh, swipe slide and um, get the CSS and just copy the value oops um, copy and then go right here and paste this okay let me just get rid of that uh, save refresh and yeah we got the color uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the rest a the section all right 
Okay, so I have given each section a specific gradient color. So if we were to go and refresh, we're gonna have uh, those pretty cool colors. Now, uh, when we click on an element or an ally right here, it it's not gonna take us anywhere, but you can see right here, when we click on it, it takes us to each section, right? Um, each element is going to give it to, to take us to uh, a specific section. Now to do that, I'm gonna go back to my HTML and I will go right here. Those are the allies that we're, we were clicking on. And um, for each href, I will um, copy the ID of, of the section that we want. And then I'm gonna put a hash, which stands for an ID. And I'm gonna put the name of the ID. And that's basically going to take us, when we click on intro, it will actually take us to the first section. We're gonna do the same for the rest. So I'm gonna do uh, section two. Um, and I'm gonna change this to three, to four, and then five. And then if we were to go and refresh, when we click on uh, portfolio, it takes us to this uh, blue section. And when we click on intro, it takes us to the first one. Resume takes us to the last one, which is cool, but there is actually no transition. Now, in order to do the transition, I'm gonna go back to my CSS and go all the way to the top, and um, we're gonna put sc uh, scroll behavior. We're gonna set it to smooth so that it smoothly scrolls. Okay, so if you refresh, you see uh, if we go to the intro, takes us to the first section with a pretty cool transition. Now, I just wanted to let you know that this um, scroll behavior smooth, this property right here, is not compatible with some browsers, you know, the old browsers, but it is, it works with, um, with you know, uh, Chrome and Firefox and um, Opera, I think, you know, all the modern browsers. But it, I think it doesn't work with the um, Internet Explorer, but really, who does use Internet Explorer nowadays? Just to note that this project is not completely responsive. So uh, if you want me to make part two where I work more on the responsiveness, just let me know down below in the comments. And I'm gonna make it functions pretty similarly to this one. So if we uh, kind of resize the window a bit to a certain size uh, right there, it gives us this hamburger uh, menu or button, whatever the hell it's called. So when we click on it, it just uh, pushes the main contents and uh, we have a proper, sidebar right here so if you want me to do that just let me know d down below okay all right guys so that's the end of the video if you liked it please give us a thumbs up because that will be such a great help also if you like this type of content consider subscribing because i am uploading uni content just like this one every two days and as always if you have any questions comment down below and i'm gonna answer you pretty much instantly so do not hesitate to put any there anything there all right so I'll see you in the next one. It was a summer night in the middle of July. I was chilling with my boys and we was really high. Higher than the flight, higher than the lights. Not higher than the plane though, cause they be flying high. So we went to this party, eating and chilling. Drank some smoke, some got higher than the ceiling. Was talking to some people.